Chag Sameach to you all. Shavuot is known as Zman Matan Torah Tenu. It's a time when we celebrate Torah itself, the gift of meaning, the gift of purpose. And both of those are so deeply embodied in the message of our Torah. The great sage Akiva, who lived in the second century of the Common Era, he said the essence of Torah can be found right at the heart in the book of Leviticus. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. I am the eternal. And part of the beauty of that teaching is the realization that if we really want to know God, then we have to know how to love each other more deeply. This challenging moment that we find ourselves in, a moment that causes us to be celebrating with you Shavuot virtually in this rather strange way, is a reminder of how interconnected we are how much we have in common, how much we need each other, and how desperately we need that commandment at the heart of our Torah. Love your neighbor as yourself. We join together as we celebrate Torah in everything it embodies. Adonai et ratzon, Elohim berov chastecha, Elohim berov chastecha, Haneini be'emet yishecha. On exactly the third month anniversary of the Israelites leaving the land of Egypt, they came into the wilderness of Sinai. They traveled from Rephidim to the wilderness of Sinai and set up a camp. Israel camped there in front of the mountain. And Moses went up to God. The Lord called him from the mountain. This is what you should say to the house of Jacob and declare to the children of Israel. You saw what I did to the Egyptians and how I lifted you up on eagles' wings and brought you to me. So now, if you faithfully obey me and stay true to my covenant, you will be my most precious possession out of all the peoples, since the whole earth belongs to me. Hallelujah, 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 halleluj
In the Torah, preparation for the moment at Sinai for the revelation that we celebrate on Shavuot lasted for three days. We may have been preparing for weeks or perhaps we just tuned in this morning and have warmed up our voices and our souls with songs. Either way, the next prayer asks us if we are ready and our answer with a deep breath and with hope is yes, yes we are. We continue now with the Barahu and we invite you if you wish to please rise. Called together the people's elders 
and set before them all these words that the Lord had commanded him. The people all responded with one voice. Everything the Lord has said, Naaseh, we will do. Moses reported to the Lord with what the people said. Mi chamocha ba elim Adonai, mi chamocha neder ba kodesh, no ratehilot o se yafele. Shira harasha shibehu gehulim leshimcha. Al zavatai yam yachad kulam, kulam hodu, vimelihu veameru. Adonai meloch leolam vaed. Tzur Yisrael, kuma bezrat Yisrael, ufdei chinumecha Yehuda ve Yisrael. Go aleinu Adonai tzmaot shemo, kedosh Yisrael, baruch at Adonai gal Yisrael. Then the Lord said to Moses, I'm about to come to you in a thick cloud in order that the people will hear me talking to you so that they will always trust you. Moses then told the Lord what the people said. And the Lord said to Moses, Go to people and take today and tomorrow to make them holy. Have them wash their clothes. Let them be ready on for the third day because on the third day the Lord will Come down on Mount Sinai for all the people to see. Set up a fence for people all around and tell them, Be careful not to go up the mountain or touch any part of it. Anyone who even touches the mountain must be put to death. No one should touch anyone who has touched it, or they must be either stoned to death or shot with arrows. Whether an animal or a human being, they must not be allowed to live. Only when the ram's horn sounds a long blast, May they go up on the mountain. The Amidah, the Avot. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu, Elohe Avoteinu, V'imoteinu, Elohe Avraham, Elohe Yitzchak, Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Sarah, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, Elohe Leah, Ha'el Hagador Agibor V'anora, El Elyon, Gomel Chasadim Tovim, Vekone Hakol, Vezocher Chasdei, Avot V'imahot, Umevi Geula Livnei Vneihem, Leman Shemo Bava, Melech Ozer, Umoshia Umagein, Baruch Ata Adonai, Magein Avraham, Vezrat Sara Atagi Borlam Adonai Mechai Hakolata Rav Lehoshia Morid Atal Mechal Kel Chaim Bechesed Mechai Hakol Berachamim Rabim Somech Noflim Verofei Cholim Umatir asurim, umekayehem emunato, lishene afar, mihamo habal gevurot, umido melach, melech meimit, umekaye, umats miach yeshua, venemanata, lachayot akol, baruchata donai, mechaye. So Moses went down the mountain to the people. He made sure that they were holy and that they washed their clothes. He told the men, prepare yourselves for three days. Don't go near a woman. We continue now with our Kedusha, a special prayer for Shabbat holiness. 
Nekadesh et shimcha ba'olam, keshem shematishim o'uto bishme marom, kakatuf ayad nevi echa, v'kara ze'el ze'e amar, kadosh, 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 Adonai tzevaot, melocho ha'aretz, Kevodo Adir Adirenu Adonai Adonenu Ma Adir Shimcha Bechon Haaretz Baruch Kevod Adonai Mim Komo Echad Hu Eloheinu Hu Avinu Hu Malkeinu Hu Moshienu Vehu Yashmienu Verachamav le ene kol chai. Ani Adonai Elohechem. Yimloch Adonai le olam. Elohai yich zion. Le dor vador. Halleluja. Le dor vador nagid godelecha. Ule netzach netzachim kedushat ha nakdish veshivcha ha Eloheinu mi pinu lo yamush leolam vaed baruch ata Adonai ha el ha kadosh. When morning dawned on the third day, there was thunder, lightning and a thick cloud on the mountain, and a very loud blast of a horn. All the people in the camp were shook with fear. Moses brought the people out of the camp to meet God, and they took their place at the foot of the mountain. We are gifts and we are blessings we are history in song we are hope and we are healing we are learning to be strong we are words and we are stories we are pictures of the past we are carriers of wisdom Not the first and not the last Ador v'ador nagid kod lecha Ador v'ador we protect this chain From generation to generation the door of our door, these lips will praise your name. Looking back on the journey that we carry in our hearts, from the shadow of the mountain to the waters there. We are blessed and we are holy We are children of your way And the words that bring us meaning We will have the strength to say The door of our door, Nagid God we protect this chain From generation to generation Ador v'ador These lips will praise your name
Mount Sinai was all in smoke because the Lord had come down to him with lightning. The smoke went up like smoke of a hot furnace while the whole mountain shook violently. The blast of the horns grew louder and louder. Moses would speak and God would answer him with thunder. The next section of our service is Hallel. Hallel is what makes a festival a festival because we sing psalms of praise specifically selected to mark the seasons of the year. The particular psalm that I want to talk about is Psalm 114. Betzeit Yisrael mi Mitzrayim, when Israel went out of Egypt is the way it begins. What's fascinating about this psalm is it was likely written by Jews, not who left Egypt, but by Jews who were leaving Babylonian exile and returning to the land of Israel. And they took an old story, the story of the Exodus, and they worked it into their new story, the one of Jews returning to reclaim the land for the Jewish people. By doing this, they gave a story that they knew even in their time was ancient. They repurposed it. They refashioned the psalm in a way that spoke to them in their time. That's how Judaism works. We take old stories, ancient stories, ancient ideas, and we repurpose them for our own times. We give them meaning and we understand them in ways that speak to us. In context, perhaps out of context, it doesn't really matter as long as they add meaning to our days. What matters most is that through us, the words of tradition are given life. And because of those ancient words, we are given a richer life. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Asher kichanu b'mitzvotav v'tzivanu likro el tahalel Halelu et Adonai kol goyim Shabehu kol haumim ki gavar aleinu chasto ve'emet Adonai leolam hallelujah. And now hodu l'adonai ki tov. Praise God for God is good. God's steadfast love is eternal. Hodu l'adonai ki tov ki leolam chasto yomar na Yisrael ki leolam chasto yomru na vet aron Ki leolam chasdo, yomru na yire Adonai, ki leolam chasdo. Baruch haba Hashem Adonai berach nuchem, mi beit Adonai, Eliyata biodeka, Elohai armomeka, hodu l'Adonai ki tov, ki leolam the Lord came down on Mount Sinai to the top of the mountain. The Lord called Moses to come up to the top of the mountain, and Moses went up. The Lord said to Moses, Go down and warn the people not to break through to try to see the Lord, or many of them will fall dead. Even the priests who come near to the Lord must keep themselves holy, they must approach the Lord's holiness with extreme care, or the Lord will break loose against them. Moses said to the Lord, The people aren't allowed to come up on Mount Sinai, because you warned us and said, Set up a fence around the mountain to keep it holy. So the Lord said to him, Go down and bring Aaron back up with you. But the priests and the people must not break through and come up to the Lord. Otherwise, the Lord will break loose against them. Vai hibin sorun, vai omer moshe, cum adonai, ve afutsu oi vecha, ve anusu mesarecha, mi panecha, ki mitzion te Baruch 
Samach, allow me to set the scene. The Israelites, who had been terribly enslaved in Egypt, are finally free. Now they're standing at the base of Mount Sinai, Moses at the top of the mountain, and just as we heard, God speaks to Moses. Go down and bring Aaron back up with you, but the priests and the people must not break through and come up to the Lord, otherwise the Lord will break loose against them. So Moses went down to the people and told them, Stay back. And then the Torah records, God spoke all of these words, saying, And with that, God gave the Ten Commandments, Ten ideas that revolutionized the world. That's pretty exciting. I don't claim in these next few minutes to be able to fully summarize them, but perhaps, just perhaps, we can capture their essence. So join me on a journey through what I believe are the greatest words ever spoken. In the first commandment, God tells us that God alone took us out of Egypt in bondage. It was God to whom we owe our freedom. The second commandment, there is only one God, and don't bow down or serve anything else. Nothing else is more important. End of story. Nothing else in life is to be worshipped. God and God's teachings are primary. In the third commandment, not to carry God's name in vain, we learn that doing evil in the name of God is an unforgivable sin. Think about that unforgivable. Onward we go to the fourth commandment, the Shabbat, and with this, the idea of holy time, a new way to see the world, adding the spiritual and the community, a new way to live life. What follows is the commandment to honor our parents. Parents, I'll bet you're smiling about hearing this one, it's so important that in honoring our parents, God tells us that we will long endure on the land that God gives us. And to parents, I think there's an implied message. Our children are watching, and they remember how we treat our parents. Every day, as parents, we should act in ways that is worthy of being honored. Which takes us to the sixth commandment, Lo Tirzach. It's the commandment not to murder, a statement that innocent life is sacred. Black, white, young, old, no distinction. No one should take an innocent life. We come to the commandment, you shall not commit adultery, a statement about the sanctity of marriage. And then the seventh commandment, 
You shall not steal, a statement of respect, a commandment that is needed to create a decent society, not to steal others' possessions, yes, but more, not to steal others' ideas, others' time, not to steal. Which takes us to the ninth commandment. Don't bear false witness. That's designed to keep the integrity of our courts and our judicial system, which is absolutely vital for a just society. And finally, the commandment not to covet our neighbor's things. It does not mean we cannot aspire to want more in life. That's fine. But it means, at least as I interpret it, not to covet things that you cannot obtain in a moral way. In other words, you can want a house, a car, a spouse like your neighbors, but not their car, not their house, not their spouse. They're not available. God gave us these ideals to us as Jews, but it's not for us to keep to ourselves. It's for us to live by those commandments and to bring them to our world. Today we celebrate Shavuot, the receiving of the Torah. We stood at Mount Sinai together thousands of years ago when God spoke those words. And today, once again, we listen to the greatest words I believe were ever spoken. It's up to each generation, indeed, up to each of us to hear them and to live by them. And today, we do just that. We hear them once again with joy and with appreciation. Hag Sameach indeed. Baruchu et Adonai HaMavorach Baruch Adonai HaMavorach Le'olam Ba'ed Baruch Adonai HaMavorach Le'olam Ba'ed Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Bachar Banu Mikol HaAmim Venatan Lanu Et Torato Baruch Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah Amen. By the bear Elohim, it's called Varim Ha'elele Mor. Anochi Adonai Elohecha, Asher Hotzeiticha, Me'eretz Mitzrayim, Mi Beit Avadim. Lo Yihi Elecha, Elohim Acherim. Opanai Lo Tase Lecha Fessel Vecho Tamuna Asher Bashamaim Mimal Va Asher Ba Aretz Mitahat Va Asher Bamaim Mitahat La Aretz Lo Tishtech velachem, velo ta'ofteim. Ki anochi Adonai Elohecha el kana. Poked avon avot al banim. Al shlishim ve al rabaim la sonai. Beo se chesed le alafim le o havai ul shimre mitvatai. Lo tisa et shem adonai elohecha la shave. Adonai et
Adonai et yom hashabat vehikadashehu. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher natan lanu Torah ilameh, v'chayei olam natan betocheinu. Baruch atah Adonai, noten ha-Torah. Our prayers for healing are more important now than ever. Please join me in Mishaberach Lerefua, a song of healing for all of those who are in need. Mishaberach Avotenu Mekor Habracha Meimotenu May the source of strength who blessed the ones before us help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing and let us say Amen. Bless those in need of healing with Rafua Shlema, the renewal of body, the renewal of spirit, and let us say Amen. Baruch Adonai HaMorach Baruch Adonai HaMorach Le'olam Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Baruch Adonai Noten HaTorah Amen Amen Kabet et avicha ve et imecha. Le ma'an ya arichu ya mecha. Ah, ha adama. Asher adonai elohecha. No ten lach. Lo tirzach. Lo tinav. Lo tignav. Lo ta'ane veriacha. Ed Shaker. Lo Tachmod 
Beit Erecha. Lo tachmod eishet re'echa. Ve'avdo ve'amato ve'shoro ve'chamoro ve'kol asher l'recha. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam asher natan lanu torat emet v'haye olam nata betokeinu Baruch ata Adonai noten ha'tora. Amen. Amen. Sim shalom tova uvracha ba'olam chayn v'chesed v'rachamim aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael amecha barcheinu yotzreinu Barcheinu yotzreinu kulanu keechad keechad beor beor panecha. During these times, our prayers together have particular importance. As we pray for strength for each other, for our nation, for our leaders, to guide us out of these difficult times. O guardian of life and liberty, may our nation always merit your protection. Teach us to give thanks for what we have by sharing it with those who are in need. Keep our eyes open to the wonders of creation and alert to the care of the earth. May we never be lazy in the work of peace. May we honor those who have died in defense of our ideals. Grant our leaders wisdom and forbearance. May they govern with justice and compassion. Help us all to appreciate one another and to respect the many ways that we may serve you. May our homes be safe from affliction and strife and our country be sound in body and spirit. As we all say, Amen. <laughs> Natatalanu Adonai Eloheinu Torat Chaim V'ahavat Chesed U'tzedaka U'veracha V'rachamim V'chaim a prayer for Israel. O Heavenly One, Protector and Redeemer of Israel, bless the state of Israel which marks the dawning of hope for all who seek peace. Shield it beneath the wings of your peace and spread over it the canopy of your peace. Send your light and truth to all who lead and advise, guiding them with your good counsel. Establish peace in the land and the fullness of joy for all who dwell there. Amen. Tov be'enecha Levarech et amcha Yisrael Bechol eit Ubechol shab yishlomecha Baruch atadonai Hamevarech Et amo Israel Bashalom Bashalom
עלינו לשבח לאדון הכל, לתת גדולה ליוצא בראשית, שלא עשנו כגויי הארצות, ולא שמנו כמשפחות האדמה, שלא שם חלקנו כהם, וגורלנו ככל המונם, ואנחנו קוראים ומשתחווים ומודים. לפני מלך מלכי המלכים הקדוש ברוך הוא ונאמר והיה אדוני למלך על כל הארץ ביום ההוא ביום ההוא יהיה אדוני אחד ושמו ושמו Our tradition teaches that we all stood at Sinai, that every one of us, the people who came before and the people who are yet to be stood together for revelation and to receive the Torah that would guide our lives. These moments of Yizkor, of remembrance, which are about to begin, are a chance to feel that again to feel that those who came before us, the people we loved who no longer walk with us physically, are here, present for these moments, and that we take these moments of song and reflection to remember the Torah that they taught us, their teachings and their values and the gifts that continue to shape our lives. We turn now to Yizkor, the prayers of remembrance. Adonai. In Otesha, he are beats I need. Al Memnucha in a Halenid. Nashi is over. The memorial prayer for our beloved departed. El Mori Rahamim, Shochein Abam Romim, Hametzei Menuchanachona, Tachat Kanfei, Ashechina, Im Kedoshim, Utehorim, 
Cited, Kadisha at home, the mourner's Kaddish, is never a prayer about mourning. It is a prayer about praise and about the life we choose to live in memory of the ones we loved. Today, especially on Shavuot, perhaps we think of the Torah that our loved ones taught us and the ways we carry out their wishes, their dreams, and their lessons. We turn now to the words of Kadisha at home, the mourner's Kaddish. Yitkadal v'yitkadash shemei rabah. Yalmad Ivrach Yurutev Yamlich Malchute, Bachaechon of Yomachon, Vachae de Hobet Israel, Bagala of Isman Kariv Vimru Amen, Yehesh me Rabba Mevorach Leolam Lome Almaya, Yit Barach Vish Tabach Vit Paar Vit Romam Vit Nase, Vit Adar Vit Ale Vit Alal Shame de Kudsha Brihu, La Ela mean Kolbir Hata Vashirata. Tushbachata v'nechemata, da'amiran be'alma v'imru amen. Yehe shlama rabba min shemaya, v'chaim aleinu v'yal kol Yisrael v'imru amen. Ose shalom b'imromav, hu ya'ase shalom, aleinu v'yal kol Yisrael v'imru amen. May the source of peace send peace to those who mourn, and comfort to those who are bereaved, as together we say, amen. Thank you so much for joining us and thank you to everybody who made these beautiful services possible. You know, there's a custom on Shavuot to eat only dairy foods, vegetarian foods. And one answer that's given for why we do that is because the essence of Torah is learning not to harm others. The essence of Torah is learning empathy for others, so much so that we should extend that empathy to animals and some of us are trying our best not to eat animals at all so that we can live that empathy every day. But Shavuot gives us an opportunity to experiment with that, to try that, because at the heart of Torah is loving the other, loving the other so deeply, sharing a concern for the other, an empathy for the other. That's what Torah is all about. That's what this special day is all about. That's what our lives should be all about. Thank you so much, and Chag Sameach. Uh, we're standing here live at the peak of Mount Sinai, awaiting the 11th commandment. We're guessing the delay has something to do with the stay-at-home order. Well, in the meantime, a big great hug Sameach and healthy Shavuot to our affiliate over at Stephen Weiss Temple from the Lefkowitz Johnson family. Moses, back to you. Hey, from the Clovis Rosen family. Wishing our wise community a healthy and safe Shavuot. Hello from the Dardashi family, wishing our wise community a happy and healthy Shavuot. Hi from the Eisen family, wishing our wise temple community a healthy and safe Shavuot. Hi from the Fisher family, we wish you a safe and healthy Shavuot. Some people think there's nothing sweeter than money, but let me tell you something, honey, nothing sweeter than honey. And when I say honey, I'm talking about words of Torah on my tongue. Sweet as honey, sweet as honey, sweet as honey on our tongue. Hello from the Nehubian family. Wishing all our beautiful wise community a healthy and a happy Shavuot. We truly do miss you all. Hi, from the Mogadam family. Hope everyone is safe and healthy. 
Hi, we are the Born of Aaron family and we are wishing you all a Chag Shavuot Sameach. Hey everyone, happy Shavuot from the Ramin family. Hope you guys are staying safe and healthy. Hi, from the Rivera Farka family. We want to wish health and well-being to all the members of the Stephen S. Wise Temple community. And we hope you have a meaningful Shavuot. On behalf of the Sakai family, we would like to wish our Wise Temple community a very healthy and happy Shavuot. Like Samaya. Wishing the Wise community a safe and healthy holiday from the Schaefer family. Happy Shavuot from the Shehari family to the Stephen S. Wise Temple community. Hi, we're the Shinasa family. We miss our Wise community so much. We hope you're all doing well and staying safe. Happy Shavuot and Chag Sameach. everybody. There's nothing quite like the sounds of Torah in my ears. There's nothing quite like the taste of Torah on my tongue. There's nothing quite like the feeling of Torah in my heart. There's nothing quite like the way Torah is in the world. It's in you. It's in me. It's in all of us, can't you see? It's in us. It's around the world. It's inside. It's beside. It's above. It's below. It's everything. It's everywhere. Don't you know? Hello, everyone. We want to wish you a very happy, healthy, and a safe Shavuot. Hi from the Pink family. Wishing our wise temple community a healthy and safe Shavuot. Hi from the Shargani family. Wishing our Wise Temple community a healthy and safe Shavuot. Hello from the Soleimani family. Wishing our Wise Temple community a healthy and safe Shavuot. Hi from the Weinstein family. We're wishing our Wise Temple community a healthy and safe Shavuot. Hi, we're the Wetsteins. We wish the entire Wise community a safe and healthy Shavuot. Hi from the Hamid family. Wishing our Wise Temple community a healthy and safe Shavuot. Hi, Hi from the Lord family. Hope everyone's safe and healthy. <laughs> Hi, Hi from, from the Friedman family. family. Wishing the Weiss Temple community a very happy and healthy Shavuot. Sweet as honey, sweet as honey on our tongue. Sweet as honey.